guys today I am fixing a problem that I didn't quite anticipate with the cappuccino it's really little but if you want to pan to my uh, license plate there I wouldn't call it center I don't think you would call it centered either uh, you'll notice it only has one bolt holding it in because US plates have different alignment for the bolt holes than JDM plates do Being the car from Japan it has different holes so I found this little guy on uh, Amazon for 20 whole dollars. There'll be a link in the description to find this thing. It's made by uh, rareform3d.com. It was on Amazon with Prime Shipping for, you know, 20 bucks. That's always nice. But this little thing guy is advertised as the thinnest license plate conversion piece to put a US plate on your JDM car. So uh, it comes with two little baby tiny bolts and two longer bolts. And these ones will go into the JDM holes, these are for the US plate. And you can see, it comes with some inset little nuts there. And I can actually see that it has like rare form 3D printed on there. You'll never see it when it's behind the car or behind the plate. So we're gonna put this on. So uh, hopefully this will make this perfectly centered and not have this weird like flat past the vent. Of all the things that bothered me, it wasn't that the other side is like paint visible. It's that this side can do that. So I'm gonna grab some tools and we're gonna put this in and you'll see how that goes. And hopefully, it's pretty thin, hopefully it doesn't break. <laughs> we'll find out right now. There we go. Now we can take this, put it there. So this does use, what size is this? A four millimeter uh, Allen key. I'm using the solar one because I wanted to keep using my quarter inch ratchet. It's windy. Let's see if we can thread these a bit by hand. Forehand. These holes are a little rusty. <laughs> that there real quick. Drop some bolts. The process of working on the car. Oh, that's pretty far in there. Okay, uh, not the fault of this thing, but uh, I realized my bumper was a little off. We pushed the bumper in, secured that, and I had to re-thread the uh, hole for this. It was a little messed up. It is an M6 by 1.0. Just so you know, that's most license plates for most Japanese cars, same sort of thing. But we're gonna go ahead and get this all the way on there. Make bolts that actually thread. And we're not gonna go too crazy here because I don't know how well it's hold up to like working it over. It's a license plate. You don't need to do too much, you know? Okay. A little tight. A little tight. Okay. So, there you can see you do have a little bit more room for adjustability if needed. Uh, I don't know about UKDM plates. I don't know if they're just a little over or not. But you do have a little bit of adjustability there. So now we should be able to mount our plate let's check the holes nice and centered and then that'll make my car look a smidge better so it does use the tiny little bolts the non countersunks for the plate uh, i don't think you'd want to use anything too long for these because you would be digging into your bumper so we can just thread these by hand real quick and it does warn you not to use any loctite on these because according to the package it attacks the plastic I haven't actually seen Loctite do that, but also I don't usually put Loctite on plastic, so. Okay, let's go ahead and tighten this guy up. Just snug. They do worry a bit about those breaking out if you really get on these with some torque, which you don't want to do. But there we go. I think we should be all good to go. So it doesn't quite line up into the little bottom brackets, but I think the JDM plates are a little bit bigger for that as well. Uh, I'll eventually get a license plate frame cover and then maybe I can work something out with that. 
but that's it 20 bucks plate is centered um i had to do a little more work than i wanted to for it but whatever it's centered it looks good i like it you like it i like it you like it yeah i like centered plates oh yeah maybe not necessarily offset too too much but uh that's gonna do it for today like i said we'll put a link to that product the rare formed rare form 3d uh license plate the bracket i guess we'll put a link to it in the description for you guys uh if you liked the video if you had to do something similar or bought a different product for this let me know i found this it was cheap it worked um but yeah please make sure to like subscribe comment um like cappuccinos because they're super cool and we'll see you in the next video we appreciate you guys